I wonder if I have what it takes to beat a PGA Tour winner. And today, I get to put this to the test against Wesley Bryan. What is going on? Oh my gosh. He's just a dangerous guy on the course. This is the greatest 1v1 of my life. Whoa! All right, guys, 18 hole video against someone that you guys know and I have never beat. A PGA Tour winner to my left, Wesley Bryan. Hey, it's good to have you on the channel. I didn't, I don't know if it's too early to bring up Purcell Farms, but I'm pretty sure that I did take an L there. I did beat Wes. You, you did? Sorry, hey. And I have beat Wes. I, yeah, I, and hey, that, that was very nice. And no, it still stings, trust me. It's one of those things that I was able to pull up pretty quick. It haunts me, I hate it. I will not let it happen today. So we will be doing an 18 hole 1v1 at the Butterfield Bermuda Championship where George and Wesley will be playing in a PGA Tour event very shortly, it's like a month from now at this exact course. So this first hole here is a downhill par four that goes to the right. I'm gonna hit a four iron. It's nothing crazy, but it's just like the elevation here is unbelievable. I cannot believe it, guys. This is the one video I'm gonna be posting from Bermuda and we are on an island in the middle of the ocean. Just wait until this back nine where we see the ocean. It's gonna get wild. It is so beautiful out here. It, all the way it should way? kick down. It should kick down. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Going a little more aggressive. Wes, you're going with the hybrid here? This is the uh, Stealth 2. One Wait. of my favorite clubs in the bag. See, Wesley is actually an unbiased golfer because he his whole bag is mixed. So he can, I mean, he's playing a Stealth 2 hybrid, so. A little right. It's not going to be good, but we'll figure it out. That's what we do, we just... One thing you're gonna get from Wes today is honesty. Uh, he doesn't sugarcoat it. He lets you know what's on his mind. That's a good thing. It's a good quality to have. We're back in a cart again. Again, we've been in a cart all week together. I literally... This video might come out before some of the other videos. Though. Well, no, I understand that, but all I know is yesterday we were filming the YouTube Championship out here, and this was the same cart cam. And you got a little something right there. You got a crumb. Oh, okay, good. Got it. That was good. Literally, like a week ago, you just made a cut. What in Dude, the These things got some. Something. Well, I wasn't even in, the motor wasn't even on right there. How about that? The motor was not on. Guys, we have found ourselves in a little bit of a predicament on the first hole here. We're on a side slope. Wesley's fine. He's down in the rough. It's a wedge shot. 160 on this hook lie. Oh, be good. Be good. Wow. Oh. What a golf shot. Dude, I cannot believe that. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we got, looks like seven, eight feet for birdie. On the first hole off that side slope. I will take that all day long. We're gonna have to play good today to beat Wesley. His bad days. Wesley's bad days around this course is probably gonna be like a 68. I mean, yeah, 68 at the highest he'll shoot today. It's actually ended up substantially better than I initially thought. 115, 56. Don't know if this is gonna get all the way to the hole. Go in. Oh, oh my. Sit. I mean, the boys are buzzing early. I mean, come on. I just want to know, like, mentally, going yeah. into this round, what is your goal today to shoot? Like, do you have, like, a number in mind, or do you just go out and play? Uh, I mean, the goal number one, we're obviously playing on the golf course. The tournament's going to be in a couple weeks, so it's more of just, like, gathering information on the golf course and getting kind of in a, a headspace of playing a practice round. Right. I'm not going to let that get in the way of my number one goal is just to have a lower score on the scorecard than you. So, might be 72, might be 62. Now, do I want now, to... Now, 72 will not, unfortunately, be lower than me. I will shoot lower than 72. Today. We don't know that. This is what they call dew sweeping, right, Wes? This is the best. You can see the like the lines. You can see like footprints. You see everything. Will do on the grass. Going a little bit left to right. Although I can see a line here. It looks like it's it's actually gonna straighten up the last couple feet. So. Let's 
it's just a big pull. First hole of the day, we have a chance here to make a birdie. Guys, that is a birdie to start out the day. We are one under, heading into a par five. This is between us, but I actually never thought in a million years I would see Wesley use the arm lock because I went to it because I was desperate to find something. He is one of the greatest putters I've played with when he gets hot. And he's putting great with this arm lock, even before it, it was unbelievable, so. What are you whispering about up there, Grant? I hear you whisper. All right, guys, before we go on with the greatest 1v1 you will see this month, this year on YouTube, I'm telling you, it is amazing. I wanna give a huge thank you to Celsius for sponsoring today's video. Now, we got two flavors for the fall vibes that I wanna talk about. The green apple cherry, and we had the Fuji apple pear. My favorite is the pear and apple combination. This one is great as well, but I absolutely love this. It's it's a very mellow taste to me, and it's something that I can drink every day before a round of golf, get warmed up, get the juices flowing before I tee off. It gets that little kickstart to start the day. I've been playing the best golf of my life somehow. So hopefully next time you guys are at your local gas station or grocery store and you see the Fuji apple pear or the green apple cherry, you grab that thing off the rack before it's gone and get a little kickstart to your round of golf. Huge shout out to Celsius for sponsoring today's video. Let's get right back into this Wesley and I 1v1 in Bermuda. Second hole of the day, par five here. Very, very reachable. Hit a good drive. You should only have like 250 into the screen. I mean, it's go... 540 gently uphill. I don't know if it's like very reachable for our like third swings of the day. That's true. But it's definitely a birdie opportunity. Right. Oh no, that's not what we need. That needs to get, that needs to get down. Oh, we're that good. That stays in bounds. Oh my gosh. That was headed towards those little white soldiers over there. Those white soldiers, those white soldiers, the out of bounds stakes are, uh, those are scary. Cause that means you have to re -tee. but we're okay, we're in. Nice swing, man. Really good. Oh, oh no! I don't think that it was, it landed in the middle of the fairway and now it's gonna be in the rough and there's some trees over there, which I'm not thrilled about that. But it did get me at least 30 yards closer to the green. That so. was a bomb. We just gotta get it back in play now. Nothing crazy here to see, just a little punch out. We're gonna have a ways in. I'm just happy this is in play because that, what Wesley just called the little white soldier, those are scary. Go get the bunker. Perfect. This is so unbelievably unfortunate. If you didn't hit the car path there. It was right in the, it was gonna be like right here in the middle of the fairway. I mean, you can still get it there. You just have to hook it. Man, I don't It's know. a risky play. <laughs> it's such a good drive and it just smacked that car path. Recent history would say I'm pretty good at slicing a hybrid. So I see a window up over here to the left. I don't love it. I absolutely don't love it. But left of the screen is a little bit better. I'll try and cut this hybrid and get it back. I mean, I can shoot. There's a little gap here. See, my brain was thinking completely different than both of those gaps. My brain was thinking you go out to the right and draw it. Wesley's thinking a cut over these trees. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the hero shot, right? So I'm gonna thread this gap. Right, right in the pit. Just right away. In the fairway. Uh, oh, that's like 30 yards short of the green. I feel like I might have gotten a little bit lucky there. I think we are going to have around 215 yards here. Probably going to hit a hybrid. I'm just tight right now. Not warmed up at all. Either that or I hit a full four iron. I think we go. With, you think we go with the hybrid? I think we can roll up this four iron though. I think I'm going to go low four iron. Okay, Carney was the hybrid. Not even close to enough club there. I mean, there's humidity in the air. You gotta take that into account. I could have told you an iron was probably not gonna get to, a front edge of the green would probably be best case scenario. All in all, a fantastic break here. Got about 30 yards here. Vanilla, dead straight, uphill chip. Distance control is key here because I gotta kind of go up a little slope and it's just right on top of the knob. Let's hit it a little bit. 
five, six feet short probably. I could have envisioned much worse, but I definitely could have envisioned a little bit better. Let's get this up and down now to stay at one under. Wow. That thing absolutely jumped out of there. Okay, we got that for a par. Wesley has worked though for his birdie on the second hole of the day here. For cleaning my ball. Absolutely. Well, one, I wanted to serve you, but two, I wanted to give a shameless plug to Selena Golf Club. If you haven't been following along the journey of us revamping and beautifying uh, this golf course on our channel, by all means, it's been an amazing little series that we've done. It's an amazing project we got going on. Check out Selena Golf Club. Columbia, South Carolina. George and Wes now have their own golf course, which is just crazy to think about. For a par here. All right, Wes, here we go. I mean, welcome to the big leagues, huh? I feel like pressure's been applied early. I'm literally looking at his little, I wanted to play that one to go left until I saw his little Trail, it's going left, still at the hole, which means that mine should go a little right, or I thought. Turns out it goes left. I know better than that, dude. Don't watch other people putt. Sometimes it's good to gather information if they're on your exact line or similar line, but opposite side of the hole, just don't watch it. It's not worth it. After the second hole, I'm one under. Wesley is even. Tons and tons of golf to be played, but we're gonna also ask Wes some questions along the way. Hey, get to know him, but also try and beat him. I mean, I'm up there green side. Grant's 220 yards back in the fairway, and then misses the green in a worse spot than where I currently was, and then we walk away tying the hole. It's crazy just how powerful yes. making putts is. Just getting loose. Pitching wedge here, 130. Oh yeah, I like it. We're going right at it. It's working closer to right at it. It's just right up it hill. instead of right at it. Coming down the hill right there. Yep, sure is. Still coming. Yep, sure is. A little bit to the right. It was a good strike. I'll take it. Coming left, here it comes. Now that was just like, for your expectations, that was not close to what you wanted. No, I mean the wind's not blowing at all and it was a pretty good number for a pitching wedge. It just comes down to solid contact and straight direction. And contact I part got, wasn't there? The contact part wasn't there and the direction wasn't like unbelievable. So it was kind of like a C plus, C plus. Right to left, up the hill here. Gonna go first. Yeah, it looks slow. We got some dew. Oh, we got it. Yet another good look. Eventually we're gonna start capitalizing on them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, didn't want to snap. I think I can tap that one in with the towel. What do you think? Yeah, the, the reason I switched to it, honestly, is I think mechanically, things tightened up a little bit. Like, I don't think it takes a perfect mechanical stroke to like hit good putts, uh, but I think mechanically it tightened things up. I think it just, like my start line's definitely tightened up. Speed control, it's not been as bad as what people say, switching to it, like with longer putt. I still think like it's pretty early. I'm only like a, about a month into this journey or whatever. It's, it's gonna take time to get comfortable, more and more comfortable with it, but I think that long-term wise, it's definitely something worth sticking to for a while and see if I can start seeing trends of getting a little bit better. What I saw yesterday with this course, it's so gettable and we're gonna have so many opportunities today. Like it's not, the course is not gonna be our issue. It's about it's, making some putts. It's, it's, yeah, it's gonna come down to hitting shot because I, I don't care how easy the golf course is. You still have to get the ball in play and you still have to give yourself looks. Right. It does have a little bit of teeth when the wind blows, but the forecast this morning, it is minimal. I cannot wait to get minimal. to the ocean. I'm telling you guys, that water is gonna be so blue when we start to get actually hole eight coming up. Hole eight, yeah, you're it gonna, is gonna see be it. so blue. Par four, we're going first. Just trying to hit it left of those bunkers out there. Get right of it. What about just right of the bunkers? Get right of it. It should be short of it. Is that right in it? Not a great golf swing might be in the bunker. This has been one of the more reliable clubs in my bag over the last year or so. Been very comfortable with it. I'm gonna be looking right at the, the group of three trees out there. 
the chunk toe ball. Is that going to end up? Bunker, bunker, bunker. No, I don't ever tee up the three wood. I don't know. Weird things. Maybe I should start teeing it up. I just feel feeling comfy teeing it up. Dude, have you ever seen so many live chickens and roosters and hens running around a no. golf course ever? Never. There were t there's been times this week where they're just on the greens hanging out with us. That's true. Like right now there's a couple of, there's three in the fairway. Roosters. We got roosters everywhere. 173. Wesley's up there in that part of the bunker. I'm actually okay. I'm far enough back from this lip that I'm able to get this over it onto the grain. Guys, really quick, if you have not already, go subscribe to Grant Horvat Teaches. It's the teaching channel that we've already launched. We're gonna be releasing a ton of good content on that. Oh, I hit it bad. It was real bad. Did you? Oh, keep coming down. Oh! Beach to beach. Oh! It landed up on top and rolled all the way down. Caught it a little thin. We're only through three holes, but if we can hang with Wesley today and just play solid, it would be a huge accomplishment. He's such a good golfer. I don't know if you've, if I've told you yet, but I'm gonna be on Grant Horvat teaches selfishly because I want a lesson. I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there. So I guess if you if you like this video, go and subscribe to that channel. He's gonna be picking one random subscriber slash like to uh, give a lesson to on that channel. I didn't ask his permission. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it away. It's, it's way easier to give other people's things away than your own. So go do it. Wow, Wes has a good birdie look up the hill. We're down here in the bunker. Sauce! Sauce! Dang, just flew it too far. Speaking of dew line, there were two people putting from my line right here. I've got this cone at my golf ball. One miss left, one miss right. All I gotta do is just is keep it in this cone. Yeah, I mean, shoot, if you get back here, Carney, you can see this. Look, <laughs> look at this. This is literally cheating. I know, this is like, I've got like that auto read on or something from- Yeah, you like those like lens you put on, yeah. like the putt view. Two people have hit putts from this, probably like, the group ahead of us. If I just, no. I just got so invested in this cone and this line. It was it too. It was the line. Come on, this is disappointing. Wild things are going to happen. I can feel it. Just right. Felt like a decent stroke. Just right. Oh, wow. After the fourth hole, we are all tied up at even par, going on to some very gettable holes coming up. You finished yeah. fourth at Riviera. Yeah. That's a tough golf course. I too. was leading on Sunday. I had a chance to win and then Dustin came in. I mean, I, I kind of melted, not gonna lie. I, I got off to a slow start, much like this start. Um, and Dustin started making a lot of birdies and then I was playing the catch up game and just couldn't do it. Dustin's a f just, Freaking nature. Much better golfer than myself. I mean, there's just- How can you even say there? You were leading, you were there's, leading Riviera. Oh, I mean, right now you're leading. You've just made my point. Little dog leg to the left. Wesley's gonna lead us off. He's going with his hybrid. What hybrid is? You wanna give it a plug? Oh, wow, you have another- Stealth two. Wow. I mean, he's just loaded up. A TM. It's locked and loaded. I value TaylorMade so much that I've given them two spots in my bag, which is pretty valuable, honestly. And I think that the clubs themselves have more monetary value than me actually using them. <laughs> so, we're gonna try and hit the fairway here. That's a great swing, Wesley. Well nice done. swing. Is... I'm excited for your future. Great shot. I felt, I felt, to help reroute it, I felt just a gentle, like, just a little squatting into the ball. Yeah, because yeah. I feel like if you squat into the ball, it's very unnatural to go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go with a three wood here, same line as Wes. You got 246 in the tank with that? Yeah. You sure? Oh yeah, that's nice. It's gonna be way down there. We're gonna have little wedges in. It's time to heat up, time to make some birdies. I know by the end of today, someone is gonna be well, well, well under par. It, might, it won't be you. Like that, that's what I was trying to say. Just absolutely smoke those shots. Little wedges in. This right here is a green light special. 
Oh yeah. Man, these things, I'm going for the low driving one. It's like the third or fourth time I've done it and they just hit and they just... That's my favorite thing to watch Wesley hit or wedge shots like that. Let's see if we can get inside of that. Probably have 60 yards here. Oh, that's nice. Go in. Great shot. Thank you. Let me say that for you. Thank you. I'm telling you, this week, something's changed with my wedge swing. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to hit low draws with them. I'm trying to hit those low, low draws with them. Feels nice. Yeah, I feel like Grant's was higher, a little softer, and his lands right here and rolls all the way up to the hole. You're a little luckier than I am. All right, time to make a putt. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know what? It's actually time to keep hitting good putts. Keep hitting good putts, good things happen. been stroking it so nice on this trip. I don't like it because I feel like it's elevating Grant's game. Everybody knows that he's a really steady ball striker. Now that he's got his wedges getting a lot better and he's stroking it nice and all putts look like they have a chance to go in, he's just a he's just a dangerous guy on the course. That brings me to my next point. The YouTube Championship was filmed here on this island, Bermuda, on the Brian Bros channel. It's gonna be coming out an 18 hole major with the six of us, Busta Jack, Micah, Brian Bros. Quite literally not gonna wanna miss it. It was unbelievable. Unreal. Hey, you've hit a lot of good putts. I think what I'm noticing, it's not your putt, it's your proximity. This is probably, yeah, normally, I'm, not, I'm not hitting it good. Or not hitting it good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got that. He's deaf. This guy's deaf in one did not hear that. No, I'm saying, but he just did not hear that. I love this guy. Because normally your wedge shots, you never have a putt that long. I know. Like ever. That's, that's what I'm saying. Six hole here. We have a one up lead on Wesley right now. One under even. How good is that? How unbelievably good is that? It actually was too much That's, club. That is the worst club you possibly could have hit on this hole. Because driver takes pretty much all the bunkers out of play. Three wood brings all of them into play. See, that's the inside of the mind of an actual PGA Tour player. And I did the dumb play, but it worked out. You know what, I was planning on just chipping this one like 225 to keep it short of the bunkers, but I think now he just thread that needle, I'm gonna try and thread the same needle. Oh, I carried it, you're good. Rough. It might be in those. No, 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 you can't reach them. Exactly why we didn't want to do this. There's an eight yard wide fairway over there. I should have just bunted it over there to the right. I got 77 yards buried in the rough, short-sided, no green to work with, kind of running away from me, and uphill. So basically what he's saying, I'll no interpret chance. that, I determined what he was gonna do, which is just crazy to think about. Like I basically got in his head because of my tee shot. Oh yeah. Nice shot. It's nowhere near the hole, but it's on the green. I have 70 yards up the hill. Blind shot, I'm gonna play 75 with the elevation. Pulled it. Yeah, if that was not pulled, I think that was the perfect distance. Wesley and I are gonna have very similar putts for birdie. Wesley is closer than me. He actually has a really good look straight up the hill. Got about 25 feet here, left to right. Gonna be slow once again. Another big thing, there's so much sand on the green right now. If you get a little bit of that sand in between the face, it can mess some things up. So, gotta make sure the balls are clean. Hey, Carney, I'm gonna tap this in. Can you get it on video, please? Mm -hmm. He had the perfect read there. I mean, all these pars, I am getting, I mean, I'm trying to hold it back. I'm getting extremely annoyed, honestly. Annoyance level is like through the roof. And it's not, it's not because I'm losing to Grant. It is. That no, is, no, 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 no. There's a huge level of you, no. you're losing to a YouTube golfer. No, no, what we're doing right now is we're creating content. True. I want nothing more than to come on, light a fire, create some electricity, get the boys buzz in here and create an electric video. If I keep making pars, it's not gonna happen. Unless I kinda go to the old school method of me making pars, which is pretty exciting to watch. But this right here, people are gonna be clicking off. So just hang with us.
Seventh hole, have the honors. Par five, let's keep it down. I, I know Wes is gonna come swing and I cannot even pay attention to his score. I like that, Grant. I like that a lot. It's a good swing, bud. Oh yeah. I mean, I love that. Thank you. That's quite, That's literally right where Micah hit it yesterday. Yep. Into the wind. Well, we're not gonna say that. We're just gonna say. Oh, that's true. You just gave it away. Yeah. Nice swing. Right just, next to me. Actually, it might be too far. Right next to you. That's gonna be too Zoom far. Zoom in. Just past me. Just past me. Just past? By a get little a, bit. Get your shoes strings tightened and go for a walk past your ball. You're gonna be going for a walk past because I'm gonna make you pace it off. I really, I, I whiffed that ball. I did. And I will say, I, do, I, I dove in with one of the stats guys last year and his biggest thing was my fairway percentage has never been good, but on par fives it was like extremely bad. And he was thinking that it was because I was trying to like reach and get a few more yards yeah, out of yeah. it or whatever. Right. And he said, number one most important thing for you in your par five scoring is when you hit the fairway on par fives, your scoring is like, like elite. And when you miss the fairway, you are one of the worst par five players on tour. That's four opportunities a day usually, and that's 16 opportunities a tournament. Right. So that when you start sense. talking about half and three quarters shots difference. He said, he said, he said just by. He said, he said just by. And I'm, I'm gonna save him his steps because I've got Bushnell right here. 22. 22. I got 169 from my ball, so you got like 175. Now did I hit that off the bottom of the face? Yes. Wesley needs to know that. 180 uphill into the wind, six iron. Actually, like one, it's playing like 190, this elevation. We're straight up to this par five here. Oh! oh that is gonna be a tough spot. Oh, just left of the bunker, but it's up in the rough. It looked like it hung up. You got like 168, playing probably about 175 up the hill. That is such a bad golf shot. I mean, I wish I could explain in words just how bad that is. It's atrocious. Come on, man. We predicted eagle. That means there's only one place for this ball to go. Great shot. Great shot. Not in, but I'll take it. You cannot even see my golf ball. Come over here, Carney. There's my golf ball. It is. Sitting down now, I'm gonna actually play this like a bunker shot. Open that face, hit behind it, hope it pops out correctly. There's a lot of guessing going on here. Great shot there. My goodness, go in. Oh! <laughs> Dude, on the bus over here, we were literally talking about the rate in which Grant Horvat has been chipping in. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. Hey, that's an eagle. Dude, I played that like a bunker shot. I set it and then I just hit behind it. There was a ton of guessing and it just popped out perfect and rolled in there perfect speed. Okay, well, this pipe just got longer. Nice Guys, it is now three under to one under, heading into the eighth hole. <laughs> I cannot believe that, Cardi. I literally cannot believe that just happened. That was like next level. Like I, I have never pulled out a shot like that. Out of like the rough and taking a full swing like that and chopping down on it. Cause you just never know where it's gonna go. Like it could have came out soft, it could have came out long. It could have came out left. Could've it could have came out right. left or right and it somehow trickled in the hole. That is just wild. But two shot lead now, heading into the eighth hole. Now I feel like Wes, at this point, the dog is about to come out. Um, yeah. Like I can, like it just kind of switched. Like now I got a two shot lead and I just know on your end, the dog will come out and he and will start barking. This is the hole I said I was waiting for. Yeah. I got a little glimpse of the ocean. Going with a six iron here, no wind at all. One of the most beautiful holes out here. Take it all day long, I will take that shot. 
felt really nice. Just a super easy, easy golf swing. I just want to hit one that goes at the flag stick so we can get excited for a minute. Doesn't have to go in. It'd be great if it did. Did you hit seven there? I hit seven and I smoothed it and I pushed it. Didn't think it would go far. I Here's your seven iron, Grant. Oh yeah. So I'm just too locked in. I actually yeah. forgot about he's my actually, golf club. That, that might be the 11th time he's forgotten to grab his club. This trip, this whole trip I've been. I'll tell you who's been locked in. George. George created some moments here on Bermuda that hey. will never be forgotten. Hey, this is something Actually, you guys have probably seen it. I guarantee you've seen it, because this will be out after. I mean, if you guys know what George did. If you know, you know. If you know, you know what George did. I don't know when this video's coming out, but George did something crazy on this trip. Dude. Oh, I think come on. ready to mow hole in one. Oh, oh, no! oh, no! oh no! <laughs> We got a little bit of a double breaker here. It's gonna go left to right, then right to left. Good 30 foot putt. Whoa. Arc. Whoa. I feel like that one right there could have wow. really put me in chase mode. I feel like that one right there could have been the, the extreme chase mode. But now, shoot, I, I can just keep clawing. Keep clawing, baby. Oh, he walked it in. Dude, the thing like wiggled up the hill or straightened out. I'd already fist pumped it. I'd completed the fist pump. That's, that's tough. So unbelievably unfortunate. We remain two up on Wesley, three under to one under. I mean, we're heading into our ninth hole, but look at this water. I mean, it looks fake. It was beautiful. I kind of want it just like a lawn chair. I know, I could just sit out there and stare all day, but I'd actually be wanting to snorkel. Ninth pole here, straight up the hill, par four. Just take it right over the bunker. We can carry it all day. That left rough sure looks nice. Sit down in the rough. That is in the rough for sure, but we'll have a swing, we'll have a chance. That's all we need, just a chance. All of Bermuda to the right. Oh, it kicked right. Should be fine. Double cross. Double cross. Oh, it's still rolling. There's no way. This has got to be a range ball. This is. Is that Wesley's ball? There's no way. Is that Wesley's ball? It no is. No way. Oh, we got. We put the clubs up. Got into the cart. And started driving, and the, we just saw a ball rolling down the car path. That is Wesley's ball, and it just stopped right next to us. You have one, 170. I have 175 into this hole. <laughs> I've never, I've never seen that on a golf course. It rolled back, it landed all the way off. Scott, 100 yards. Scott, you, we were driving up here and saw a ball rolling down the car path. The it rolled down. all the way down. But we put the clubs up, we talked for a minute, we drove. Dude, I don't know, it was up there for who knows how long, and then it just started rolling on the path. Just for a reference, Wesley's ball landed up by those palm trees. A hundred yards. So let's have a lob wedge in from the left rough. Yeah. I've and got a full, I mean, full six iron, and it might not even get there. It, it still probably won't get there. Oh, good shot. It's just a little short, but still a good shot from here. Yeah. 100 yards here, probably playing 110. Gonna go with a full 56 degree. That looks pretty good. Hopefully it's short. I think that's really close. I mean, hopefully. I would take a guess. I guess fortunate to be on the green in two here. I uh, got a putt up a mountain, left to right. This would be a little bit of a bonus here. Just never got it left enough. Up the hill, left to right. Got to be somewhat aggressive here to get it there. Oh, 
that snack. That was a tough one to get it there, but I'm three under after nine holes. Wesley is one under. Heading on to the back nine. Once again, we are gonna go to the ocean on the 16th hole. We will be on the ocean on a par three. It's gonna be unbelievable, so just hang around for those views. Par four, dog leg to the left, up the hill. Go with a two iron little stinger. Beautiful. I couldn't place it any better. That's what I needed. Nice swing. Is that your draw swing? That was, it's just, it's savvy, it's, it's just savvy and I don't like it. I can see the draw you went. Yeah, it's it. That's it. It's like it's like it's almost like a like a high right shoulder to try and say instead of just like. Yeah. I'm fairly certain that I hit two fairways. Okay. That last nine holes. You're still one under. Let's I made one clear. birdie of the two fairways. Okay. So my thought is that if I hit six fairways back here, six out of seven. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's at least three birdies. But I also feel like I left a lot of opportunities out there. So I'm going to go for another two, either par threes or non fairways. Okay. So that's five. That'll get me to six, which means you have to maintain the current pace that you're on, in which I don't think you're going to, to just tie. This is where, this, see, this is what he does. This is where the, uh, so the that's my thought game, process. This is where they start to come out. You guys are seeing this firsthand here. This is what he does. Rove them all week. I have got 100 yards, and I've got a perfect lob wedge. I mean, this is, it's uphill a few yards. Don't have to worry about it ripping back. I'm taking complete and utter dead aim at the flag stick. Oh, just right. I mean, that's like banana. It's like the wind's going straight right. No, no, there, there absolutely is some force pushing that ball to the right. But Maybe. if there was going to be any force pushing the ball, I thought that it would be pushing it the natural direction, which would be to the left. Off the ocean. And now I'm just spinning around in a circle, looking like an idiot because that shot right there. He's got high expectations with his wedges. We'll put it that way. But also, really quick, this is Carney. He's wearing the new collection right here. Beautiful polo. It's electric. This thing's amazing. Green's just kind of my color. I love it. He's a salesman. Look at him. Look at him go in the wild. Um, but seriously, guys, if you want anything on the Primo website, use my code GRANT15. It will also be linked in the description. So if you go into the description, you can follow the link there. Use code GRANT15. You'll get a 15% discount. We got an arm raise. We got an arm raise. I think it's close. Come on! Get it together. This guy is a wiener. I'm not gonna let him beat me. You're getting beat right now, dude. I know, I just, I can't stand on this I am a sand. YouTuber. I am a YouTuber. Greens haven't been spinning at all, so I say I don't have to worry about the spin, so I hit full lob wedge and it spins back 20 feet. Difficult battle we're fighting out here today. Not only do we have our competition that's against me, Got the golf course against me right now a little bit. I'm not wishing bad things on Grant at all, but this, this <laughs> needs to miss. That takes me now to four under par. Wesley is one under. Really excited to be on his channel. I'd like to thank Grant Horvat for having me on. It's been a heck of a time. Thank you all for watching. Drop a comment, like. Let's try and get this thing to like, I don't know, five, 600 likes. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe to the Brian Bros. And we, I mean, the match is basically over and we don't even get to the prettiest part of the golf course. Hole 11, 444 yard, par four straight down a giant hill. Funny, I'm not hitting the driver super straight today. I got a little bit of right and lefts going on. Everything else feels good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A very satisfying second shot here. We're on the down slope, but we're just hitting to the screen. It just feels like, just like shooting a little free throw here. 113. Oh, oh. 
Oh, worst shot of the day. Left. Worst shot of the day. I love it. Yeah, it just went a little left on me. So that shows me Excessively the bad good. shots are still okay. One, two, three, four, five plus paces past Ben Hunt. Think you'll get this up and in? Yeah, I think so. I would bet a lot of money on it. I did have one question I needed to ask you. Okay. So you just mentioned a free throw. Right now, no warm up, indoor, shoot 100 free throws. How many are you making? Right now, I told you I went to states for free throw shooting. I'm just tell I'm just asking you Wait, right did now. Wait, you, did you even know that? No, don't care. I'm just wanting to know how many you think you're gonna make out of 100 right now today. Right now? Right now. That's tough because I haven't shot in years. Okay. I'd probably say 40. I'm definitely would make over 40 though. Well, other honest. than the shooting was my strength, I couldn't 40, like run. Like 40, dude. 40 percent from the line. Is that good? It's terrible. You think you could do better? Free throws? Right now. 100 percent. I mean, I wouldn't shoot 100%, that's ridiculous, but 100% better than 40 at it. We should actually do a free throw conversation. We should do it. Ryan Bros TV. 100 yards on the nose. Uh, time to redeem myself from the last attempt from 100 yards on the last hole. That was expected. Okay. That is routine. We're back. We're all the way back. If that didn't happen, something was wrong. That's all I'm gonna say. I've gone to the bag to grab a coin out. Maybe that's part of the reason, just marking with a T. Sometimes you get a little bit loose mentally. Right now I'm locking in. Got the coin. It's time to start taking this guy to the woodshed. This is a speed putt, left to right down the hill here. He's fired up. This is actually kind of cool to see. Oh my gosh. Sit there. It's a good putt. Oh, okay, never mind. That's like a real good putt. He's got it. Things are getting real. I'm actually gonna start reading putts. Gonna slow them down a little bit. I feel like I still got plenty of time, but now now just kind of feels like that time to lock in. So, you're gonna check the take your back man, that's a quality putt. Barely grazes the hole and I hit it a cup out and blistered it. I thought there was a chance that he misses that, but we have a three shot lead. We are four under. Wesley is one under, heading into the 12th hole. I'm gonna tee up a driver super low, take it right over that 150 marker. Goodness gracious, you listen well. Just right up. That was it. Finally, we got a good drive. Nice swing. That was oh. 65 yards. Hold on, wedge lesson, here. He takes a couple practice swings, there's dirt, there's water all over the club face. That is why. No, well it just, it like, it messes with ball flight, it messes with spin, like trajectory and everything. Oh goodness, there we go. That's Whoa, this thing's got a little magnet on it. Yeah, it's amazing. Now I'm just gonna hit. I got yep. this, I got the 65 yards, and I'll see what the ball flight looks like. Oh my gosh. I can't see it, just disappeared right by the pin. Might just be short. Thanks Wes, that actually, that helped. What a guy, down three strokes and he's getting I know, he's down three and gave, helped me out. Like that, that's a nice guy. All right, 55. Gotta start, gotta start somewhere. It's the same thing every time, I haven't learned. I haven't learned my lesson. I just can't, I just get accustomed to this one shot, the reaction on the green, and it's low and it's hot and it's so unbelievably short every single time. And I'm fed up, I'm angry. It's crazy how low that just came out. I mean, that's just unbelievable. I got a little thumbs up from Sky, but look, I mean, better than a little thumbs up. All right, got to make something happen. Treacherous waters. <laughs> I think that's par number 11 through 12 holes, is that right? That is. That's nice. That's nice, give him a, give him a rundown, because I've lost count at this point. Takes me now to five under. Wesley is one under after 12. On to a long par three here. Crazy, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Just gonna try and stay in it once again. Keep playing good golf, and we'll talk after, at the end of this video.
195 to the pin here, downhill. Beautiful shot here with the ocean in the background. Unbelievable. Blue water everywhere. Hold it. It's a poor golf swing there. I felt like I committed to the shot and golf happened. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go in. Great shot. Okay. Left. Whenever you find yourself down big, still got a lot of golf left. It's really important in those moments when your competition hits a poor one that you step up and hit a great one because that, that could be what shifts this match. We are on the left side here. A better lie than before when we made it for Eagle. Not the greatest lie. We are gonna have to create some speed down at the ball to get it to pop out of here. When you have this shot, you do gotta create some speed. Not my best, not my worst. One thing I like about that shot is I left myself with an uphill putt, so I can be aggressive. Left rider here. Kind of feels that way. Now this putt to tie the hole. Left rider up the hill. Freaking go. All right, it keeps me at five under. Wesley at one under, heading in to the 14th hole. This one's a really cool one. Go straight to the left. It's kind of like a little, you gotta thread the needle off the tee. Fourteenth hole, dog leg left. Going with a two iron here. Probably hug the right center of the fairway. Need to hit that good. That was my stinger shot. Just chunked it. Completely chunked it. But we might not be able to see the green. There are baby chickens up there. Look at all those chickens. Oh my gosh. What a if she was filming, if Sadie was filming this, the golf would go out the window and she would be just filming those chickens. She would have filmed all the wildlife. So we got a lot of work to do. 147. That is definitely a nine iron. That's a nine iron, 147. It's gonna be fine. Just left of the pin. That will be just fine. 128 should be a perfect 52 degree. Oh my. Oh. Go in. That is close. Did it, can you guys see it? You go in. It's like two feet, three feet. Come on. I think you got that one, Wes. Come on. You got that one. I promise. I don't think I've ever said that to Wes. That's what he usually says to me, but I think he's got it. Wild here, guys. Up the hill, right to left. Did not think we were this close, but we got a great look. That is a par, keeps me at five under. We're starting to run out of holes here, folks. Starting to run out of holes. Gonna make something happen. Wow, what a beautiful view, huh? Dude, the ocean is Wow, crazy. this is pretty. You know what's funny, as a kid, growing up, my parents used to tell me, you know, when you're in a junior tournament, make sure you're always taking in the view and like, looking around, and I agree with that. But the hard thing to do in golf is when you are not playing good or struggling is to actually look around and take in the view because you're so focused on your golf game. When I was a kid, junior golfer, there was zero chance. If I was playing bad, I was gonna be looking around at the flowers, but. He's taking in the scenery even though. I mean, he's rough. trying to take in the scenery. Is he? It's debatable. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't think too long about it, but I think that that was just my 14th birdie look today. Oh, you've had looks on almost every hole. No, but I think that was my 14th birdie look in 14 holes. 
I mean, yeah, think about the first hole. Think about the second hole. The first and second hole, you stuck, I mean. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. That's great. Putting is important. This is where it gets so beautiful. And I hope you guys are seeing these drone shots, taking a look at the ocean. The hole after this is my favorite hole on the course. So breathtaking. Now I'm actually taking this in because there's nothing that excites me more than blue water. Beauty. That was hit well. Just a little fade. Nice shot, Wes. That's the one. Kind of pushed it. Get to the fairway. Get to the fairway. Good swing. Ah, it was an average swing at best. Wind's coming a little bit into. I'm gonna go with a little soft flight of down 52. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Shot. It's a quality shot. 52 degree. Take that all day. That was just pulled a little bit, but distance control, distance control is solid. Came up a little shorter than I hoped. Still got another look. Need one of these to drop soon. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. This right here is to get to six. Down the hill, a little right to left. That did not, that Woo. was never going left. Woo, okay. I mean, I don't know if I got a chance, but I got a chance. That was never gonna go left. I needed to hit that straight and hard. Five under to one under. Heading on to my favorite hole on the golf course, this on part three, island. on the island. Actually, on the entire island. Yes, this is my favorite hole. Could this be one of your, where would you rank this in favorite holes all time? Almost number one. I, it might be number one. It would have to be somewhere at Payne's Valley. I love Payne's Valley. That really took my breath away, but this, like, this doesn't compare. I'm an ocean guy. Play golf on the ocean. Nothing's gonna compare to this. Some people like woods. Some people like mountains and trees. I, no. Not me. We have made it here. I mean, come over here. Just can't stop looking at it. I hope it just shows on camera what that actually looks like. It almost looks fake. Got the honors here. 178 into the wind. I was really hoping his love for the water was gonna draw that golf ball over there. That. Is an unfortunate turn this match just took. You just couldn't stop talking about it, and eventually your ball was going to end up in it. I love the water. Well, I mean, in golf you shouldn't love the water, but you can drop up there. It's a hazard. You're gonna have to scramble a little bit now. Nice swing. Nice swing, lad. Good shot. Thank you. Probably crossed in right around back here. Stuck. We're gonna have to get up and down now for a bogey. Oh, too much sauce. Can you feel, I feel, I feel a three shot swing right here. And from the Casher's Cup way back when, last year, got three words for you, two shot swing. Now we're actually might here be going to three shot swing. 
Got three words for you, Grant. You make I got three words for you, Grant. Three shot swing. Okay. You got, it starts with a made putt. Has, you make this. It has to start with respect. a made putt. Hadn't made one all day, but boy, oh boy, this would be, this would be the one. I can't leave it short. There's three more words for you. Left it short. Those are the moments you just need to capitalize on. I love this putt. Straight up the hill here for bogey. That felt right the whole way. Guys, takes me now three under on the day. We have a very, very, after this hole, one of the easiest par fives on the course, I think. If you hit a good tee shot, you have an iron into it. So we can bounce back after that, but now I only have a two shot lead heading into the last two holes. Y'all hey. see me lurking. Y'all see me lurking. I feel like I'm making good golf swings. I'm committed, they're just going left on me and I can't really do anything about it, but now we're gonna drop and we're gonna have about 240 into the pin. It's perfect three wood, you can hit it on the green and still make birdie. 237 to the pin, but we are a little bit downwind today. Gonna go with the hybrid. It's gonna be a full one, a very full shot here. I don't know if I've ever hit it, that this club that good. That was, under the circumstances, that felt amazing. We have a putt at birdie now, after a water ball. Come on, if we make a birdie here, that would get me fired up. All right, I got 160, uphill, go with Lloyd Iron. It's time, it is time, folks. Lock in. Great shot, great shot. Come on, come on. You, yeah, you like the, I, I can feel it. Up the hill, right to left for the birdie. I wanna give this a run so bad. Whoa, whoa. That was skidding. I heard different noises on that. Whoa! This would just be downright disrespectful if this drops. This would, I mean, Grant has his back turned. This would be disrespectful. Salt West. That was a great putt, Grant. That was a great putt. <sighs> That's a great eagle. Wesley makes an eagle there. I make a par. We are all tied up. I, I knew this was, I mean, I, I knew he would make an eagle, so can't let off. Let's make a birdie on the final hole here. That's all we can do. First putt made of the day. Literally of the day. In quite literally the biggest moment I could have imagined. Through two holes ago, I was four down. And now it's just all tied up, 300 to 300 heading in to 18. Go right over the left side of that right fairway bunker. Oh, she's gonna be rough. 
it might be in the fairway. I was holding on better out of the rough. You saw the chicken wing. Yeah. I was holding on to it. I fought that one off as hard as I could fight. I'm an absolute fighter. If you haven't learned that yet, I was gonna make sure this one went down to the wire. Beauty. Absolutely stroked it. Down Broadway. That's a good tee ball. That shows me the grit. That shows me the grit. Cause I know you want this one bad. Oh yeah, I mean this You is want like, this one bad. This could change my and, whole career. And you just absolutely spewed it the last two holes. This step up. I like it. I like to see it. I like seeing a good competitor. Well, this is what it comes down to, Wes. Your shot out of the rough, my shot out of the fairway. It does. It's and coming down to this. This and a putt. 52 degree. Trap it. Really? Oh my gosh. Wow. I know I got 88 yards and it's uphill into the wind. If I hit lob wedge perfect, it is perfect to get close. It brings up short into play. I could go for the safer option, but more than likely surrender a little longer putt. I think I'm going to close the match out right now. I'm going lob wedge. Hit it perfect. Oh hit it perfect. You have got to be kidding me. Got the claps from the crowd. More than likely a putt for the win. Let's go, boys. Let's freaking go. Come on. There's one chance. You got to make it. Back's against the wall. What are you going to do? Oh! Did you see it do that little... Gets me in at three under. The only hope I have now is Wesley misses this. Hey, great match. Great match, Brian. I really enjoyed that. Not much to say here other than Wesley won and I played my heart out. I truly had one of the better rounds of my life going. Um, I hit maybe two bad shots coming in. So, and Wesley earned, I mean, you made, a, you made an eagle and a birdie. You went eagle birdie finish. Today. It was quite literally your first two bad swings of the day and then my first two made putts of the day and they just got jammed in like right at the end of the match. If you guys stuck around for this one, man, y'all got a treat. If you didn't, you're gonna have to go tell those folks that clicked off the video, they might wanna see what happened in this match. Yeah, this is one of the greater, I mean, this is one of the greatest 1v1s I filmed on my channel, stroke play, just with coming down to the wire. I feel like I played some of the best golf, but just to hang with you is cool. Like no, just was, to hang out with you, but also to hang with you oh, score-wise. Oh, stop wise. it. That's just too yeah, that, sweet. That, that was because I meant like hang score-wise, but then I like felt bad. So I said hang out. Whatever, I'm leaving. See you guys. Um, you keep talking. Guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed that. Let's get, let's get some likes for that one. Should we get 15K? That was unbelievable.